Today is St. Patrick's Day, when the Irish all over the world celebrate their patron saint and everything turns green. Already, the Welsh have tried to lay claim to St. Patrick, but we've got news for them. At the risk of being a party pooper, it may be that St. Patrick's actually one of our most famous sons. And that's not the black stuff talking. St. Patrick was reportedly born in the 4th century, and many believe there are signs to his not being from Ireland, but from here in Western Bartonshire. So what has uh, your research determined, do you think? Well, I think uh, it points out that it's quite likely that St. Patrick, in fact, uh, came from this area. I mean, he wrote his, what he calls his confession. And then that, it's a very short biography, an autobiography. And in that, he talks about being picked up by brigands on the banks of the Clyde and about uh, being taken away to Ireland by these people and put into slavery. St. Patrick's name, if not his footprint, is all over the area, from the council's crest to one of the local schools. How much do you know about St. Patrick? I know everything about St. Patrick. What do you think that is? He's a do you know he's meant to come from here? Come from Dubai? Was he? I didn't know that. He was actually meant to be from here. No, he wasn't. No. He can go in P7. St. Patrick can go to P7? <laughs> St. Patrick's in primary seven? That's amazing. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to St. Patrick's night dance tomorrow night. Are you? Yes. Do you not think you should know that he actually was meant to come from Dumbarton? I, uh, I don't know. He came from Dumbarton. But most people think he was from Wales. Indeed they do, but who really knows? I decided to visit St. Patrick's Church and have a look at the saint for myself. What do you think? A special claim in uh, Dumbarton and Oakle Patrick? It's a nice thought. <laughs> Are you sceptical? Don't tell me Slightly you're sceptical. Sceptic. I would say he's definitely born in some estuary in the west coast of Britain. You are a diplomat. That, that is absolutely certain. <laughs> I mean, it's all good and well to say that uh, St. Patrick's from uh, these parts, but lots of other people they claim to as well. The Welsh, for example. Well, I think it is really only the Welsh, and I think that is just because of a mix-up in the in the old names. The traditional name for Clydeside was Alcluth, Alclutha, and uh, the Cluth was, of course, the Clyde. I mean, the Welsh have Cluid, and uh, I think this is where the sort of uh, the mix-up comes in. So do you think St. Patrick would uh, appreciate uh, the celebrations uh, and the drinking on his uh, Saint's Day? Well, I don't think he would mind because drink is a gift from God and we should all appreciate it and not abuse it. So as long as people didn't abuse it, I think St. Patrick would quite like that. But with 17 million pints of the black stuff drunk worldwide today, perhaps it's not St. Patrick's cars we need, but get well cars. From Doogie and me, mind how you go, good night.